Hello, my name's Ethan. Make sure to check my website, EthanRen.com. There you can find links to all my various socials. On my website, I have a blog. Again, EthanRen.com. Go to the top right, click blog. You're going to be presented with a bunch of different articles that you can click on. For an example, I pulled up Apple. And as you can see, when you scroll through it, you're able to get more in-depth information about a lot of the products we cover here on this channel. Every post on my blog also has its own unique video that coincides with it as well as at the very bottom, you're even able to leave comments. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. I'd really appreciate any feedback you guys would like to provide. On the bottom right hand corner of every page, there's a discord button. Click it and you're basically able to get full access to my discord community um, without downloading anything, without having to make an account or sign in. If you click this button, you're able to sift through all the various channels and see, see what we've been talking about. And if there's an image that you find interesting, click it. Click open original and it'll open the full size image in a new tab so you're more clearly able to see it. This is my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you go to my channel directly and click the playlist button, I've created a bunch of different playlists to help organize my over 750 videos. So it's you're more able to find what you're looking for. Let's say you want more information about commodities, ETFs, stock analysis. It's all there cleanly laid out you're able to find what you're looking for easily so what's the next symbol we're going to be looking at we are going to be looking at symbol iwc what is symbol iwc iwc is the iShares micro cap etf so i like covering etfs here on my channel because they provide a great way to diversify um for new investors who may not want to do all the individual stock picking required to build their own portfolio out in a diverse and safe way, ETFs provide a professionally managed fund um, and a way to diversify their funds so all their eggs aren't in one basket and they're able to get involved in these with as simple as one click. Now, we cover things like the S&P, all of these great different products, whether it be SCHD, et cetera. Well, as, while the S&P 500 is the top 500 most valuable companies here in the United States, it's also interesting to cover small cap, right? We also have covered like the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 would consist of small cap companies. Now, this is the micro cap ETF. This is the smallest of the small, right? So we're covering all of these different levels of market cap, right? It's important to diversify not only in sector of a country you want to be evenly diversified across every sector in a country you not only want to be diversified across market cap so you don't want to have all your eggs in large cap or all your eggs in small cap you want to have some large cap companies some medium some small some micro you want to have exposure to all in all these different ways because these are just various different ways you can diversify so once you're diversified across sector and across size you can then apply this methodology to other countries to further diverse diversify internationally just some food for thought so on a technical level what are some of the things i like about iwc well if you come over to the right hand side you'll see this fund offers a dividend yield of 1.41 percent annually which is excellent that's about what you would expect from most funds of this nature this is very similar to a return you would expect to see on like the dow jones or the s p so it's right in line with what you would expect for a dividend yield on a fund like this not only that if you come up here and look at the symbol right next to it there's a w this means every candle here represents one week of time guys one week of time it's important to keep in mind your time frame so you have a general idea of how long it's going to take for some of these cycles to play out one of the indicators we use on every video here on my channel so we have a nice consistent application of our analysis across all various different products and various different sectors countries etc is the rsi and as you can see right now the rsi has been getting beat down on this symbol for the past six months or so give or take nearing that 30 price point nearing that that 30. Typically when the RSI is oversold like this, this is a sign that it is potentially a good time to be scaling into this investment. When the RSI is high in the sky like it was here in March 2021, this is typically a sign that maybe you don't want to be allocating money into that exact fund, product, sector, etc. at that given time. A time prior where the RSI was as low as it is currently would be here in March 2020. 
RSI came down, touched that 30. Then this symbol proceeded to run as much as 171%. A time prior to this, when the RSI was as low as it is currently, it would be in February 2016, as you can see. And then symbol IWC proceeded to run as much as 83%. And again, for a fund, these are huge gains, right? Huge gains. Time prior to that would be right here, um, September 2011. RSI came down, touched that 30. IWC proceeded to run as much as 110%. And then the final time prior, at least with the data provided here by TradingView, there might be more data, but this is what TradingView is showing me. The, in February 2009, RSI came down, touched that 30, then proceeded to run as much as 137.2%. So these are huge potential gains being made on an ETF or fund, which is, again, diversified, helping you mitigate that risk of owning a singular company um, another thing we're noticing is we have this upward trending price channel here support would be the green line resistance up here we also have this blue 180 day 180 moving average again this is the weekly 180 moving average um, and as you can see it tends to come down dip just below that 180 day moving average before quickly coming up bouncing up over and then proceeding to run again which is no exception to what we are seeing here i feel like this product presents a great entry right now to be scaling into and i know a lot of you probably don't have exposure to a lot of these micro cap companies that have huge potentials for multiple x returns um, this is a way to kind of get involved in some of those companies with again diversifying that risk of just having one of these companies in your portfolio what are the holdings for symbol IWC? Well, let's take a look. As you can see here, I pulled up the holdings for symbol IWC on Yahoo Finance. The top 10 holdings, which represent 5% of their assets. So maybe there's roughly 200 companies, give or take, maybe more in this particular fund. With the top holdings being Immunogen, Sterling Infrastructure, Modline Manufacturing, idea bioscience uranium energy corp diamond offshore drilling uh helium helix energy solution photonics symbi therapeutics rhythm pharmaceuticals so that's pretty diverse and if we come up here and look at the sector weighting as you can see it is relatively balanced relatively balanced uh, extra exposure in healthcare which is often a pretty defensive sector a pretty good uh, safe haven sector um, maybe a little light on utilities and consumer defense. You could definitely round that out with some of the utility sector funds that we've been covering here recently on the channel. So if you were to buy a product like this, add a little bit of the sectoral ETFs for utilities, you can get a nice even weighting across all these sectors. I, I quite like how properly diversified this fund is. And again, you may not, if, if you only have like the S&P in your portfolio, which is the top 500 um, valued companies here in, in, in the United States, that's not you know really diversified across size. Yes, it's diversified across sector and it's in a singular country being the United States, but there are many different ways to diversify your portfolio. You wanna be diversified across every sector in a given country and diversified across every size. So large cap, medium, small, micro. So this is a product you can use to help diversify across market cap sizes. And the market products based on their market size cap can dramatically have different performance over time. So I like this product. That's just about everything I want to say about IWC. We're gonna move into our next symbol now.